Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be looking at Anchor Games, which is a service used to basically pirate games, get them for free, um, and we're going to be seeing if this site is malicious. So yeah, I am going to be using a few tools uh, to try and figure out whether this is malware or not. Um, once again, before anyone says that these tools are like somehow not reliable, these are the most popular tools on the entire internet um, with scanning malware. They use a lot of methods, including manual analysis, so I am not sure why anyone would be saying that this is an unreliable way of analyzing because it's actually extremely reliable. There are heaps and heaps of results that you can look at on these sites and you can just see it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to be analyzing a game on this site called Slime Rancher. Um, I'm going to be looking at the EXE, I'll also probably look at some of these files here, but we're just going to take a look. So let's go to Virus Total first, um, and I will just start off with this EXE right here. Okay, so it's looking good so far, so there is no results for malware. Let's go to the behavior. Wow, look at that guys. It's not, it's actually not detecting that it's being analyzed. And there is pretty much nothing bad about this here. Tries to load missing DLLs. That's pretty normal. It's Unity, which is um, the game uh, creating site. Um, it's like a software that's used to create games. That's what Unity is. We can see here, that's a pretty normal registry. Yeah, read software policies, that's fine. Well, I don't really think that this is true because you can see that there's actually no results here. Like there's no more information and it's uh it's un and the severity is unknown so i don't think that this is actually anything to be worried about i'm sure this is a false positive considering that there's nothing else saying that it does this that it avoids detection slash network filtering um so i don't think that that's actually true um http communication nah um i mean so far like this looks pretty legit. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't really see any malware going on here. Registry keys opened. It's a little bit weird that it opens safe boot. But... Hmm. I mean, there are a few sketchy signs here, but overall, I mean, it's pretty safe on this, um, on the behavior. Relations... Again, the relations are very clean. There's only one here, which is just the execution parent, so it's not even related to it. Um, and then we go, well, it is related to it, but it's not like the actual file that you're running, so. Let's go to, yeah. And the file's not signed either. And you may think that that's a bad thing, but that's actually a good thing, because if a file is signed, it means that it, um, it will get less detections by antiviruses. But because it's not signed, that actually is a good sign. That means that, um, it's uh, not being carried by the fact that it's um, that it's signed, and therefore the malware detections would be completely uh, visible. Again, it's just Unity Player. Yeah, this is pretty legit. So far, I mean, Anchor Games is looking quite safe, but le let's keep going. Don't stop here. Um, we still need to look at a few more things. So I'm not going to be. I'm not going to say that it's 100% uh, safe yet. Okay, so it's clean on Meta Defender and CrowdStrike Falcon. That's a good sign. Um, it says suspicious. It doesn't actually say that it's malware. It just says suspicious. But let, let's have a look. Uh, let's go do this one. Yeah, so you see how there isn't anything about how it's detecting that it's being analyzed. There's only one thing here. Um, okay, so there is a little bit of anti-detection here that um, I'm seeing, but Virus Total didn't pick that up, which is interesting. I don't know why Virus Total didn't pick it up, but um, Hybrid is picking it up. Okay, so now I'm starting to think like this is a little bit suspicious. You can see once again with the cryptogra uh, cryptographic related. So in my last video, I talked about this and people were saying that like it's not related to crypto mining, but actually if you search it up, there are multiple meetings for cryptography and there's one definition where it actually does relate to crypto mining. I'll have it up on the screen right now. Um, so it could be crypto mining, but you can see anti-reverse engineering. So that is a little bit suspicious. Uh, contains ability to delay execution by waiting for signal timeout. Let's actually look at the details of that. 
relevance, 1 out of 10. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's not, it's not too bad because it's not actually malicious. Um, you can see the anti-reverse engineering here, which is a little bit weird, but the fact that Virus Total didn't pick it up and there's also no actual, like, malicious indicators is a good sign. It means that it's probably, um, it's most likely safe, like, unless it's doing some really, um, well done, like, anti-analysis, um, stuff, like, if it's using anti-analysis, but I don't think it is. Now we'll use file scan, just to, like, really make sure. We'll do upload, oh yeah, we'll do that. And yeah, I'm also gonna look at a few more files in the, uh, folder after this, just to make sure. We'll just go through, like, maybe the DLLs or something. As you can see, it says no threat. That's a very good sign. Found a process identification instruction sequence. Defense evasion. Well, the thing is, right, even though it does say that it has defense evasion, like anti-VM, um, that still doesn't really change the fact that there's no other malicious indicators. Like, on um, Fit Girl Repax and, um, and Steam Rip, there were actually malicious indicators, but on Anchor Games, I don't see any malicious indicators, so... This is looking quite safe. Deep static analysis. Okay, okay. See, this site is really accurate. Um, indicators of compromise, similarity research. A similarity doesn't really matter because it's not actually the file, so it's okay. But you know, this is looking extremely safe. Like, honestly, I don't really see, the only sketchy thing that I've seen through that, throughout this entire thing is that it um, has anti-VM, but the fact, like, it, that might just be um, for, like, legitimate purposes. Like, for example, how running games on a virtual machine isn't the best idea, because usually games do not run well on virtual machines, so maybe they just don't want anyone to, like, do that on accident. That's a possibility, because um, it is quite easy to accidentally launch a virtual machine. Um, so, yeah. Let's, okay, yeah. I'm, I think it's pretty safe, um, in all honesty, like, I don't really see any sketchy stuff about this. There's only, like, a few suspicious indicators on hybrid, and, uh, it's not actually malware. So, yeah, I think it's pretty safe, but let's, um, let's take a look at, uh, a few other files on this website. I mean, in this, uh, directory. We've got a few more anti-behavioral analysis stuff going on here, but there's no detections. Let's, um... Hold up, let's just do hybrid, because I don't think Virus Total is able to pick this up very well. Okay, so... Okay, so it's clean here. It's only suspicious here. Let's have a look. Found a potential email address in the binary. Calls an ape... Oh, that is suspicious. Okay, so we have found something suspicious here. Calls an API possibly used to take screenshots. However, it is the Steam API, so it's possible this is actually used um, to take screenshots of like games that you're running it might actually be like a game overlay thing so you know that's a possibility um so i actually do think that that's pretty normal import suspicious apis no that, that's pretty like normal i would say uh, there's nothing really too suspicious about that anti-detection able to inject code into another process mm, it's only a one out of ten relevance and also like it's not really too much of a problem. Um, it's possible that this is an API, right? So it's probably just injecting into the game in order for it to run. That's probably what that is. Uh, signal timeout. Um, this might have something to do with like the mainframe of the API. So that's possible. Um, contains ability to impersonate access tokens. Uh, API string, found reference to API. No, that that's like, that's fine. Like, I don't see any problem with that. Anti-reverse engineering, P files contain zero size sections. Oh, and now we got cryptographic related. Okay, so it could, do, could be, um, this could be the crypto mining section. Contains ability to perform decryption. Crypt, decrypt. Yeah, so it's probably just decrypting the cryptography, uh, which is like pretty safe. Um, use, so this is probably related to the cryptography libraries that um, everyone was talking about. I mean, you know, create slash control drivers, okay. 
I think that all of this is really just has to do with the API and how the, the Steam API actually works. Because obviously it has to inject code into more processes and it has to do a lot of stuff in order to actually um, work properly. So I actually think that this is all just like a false positive. So yeah, I actually think Anchor Games is safe. Um, I think that's going to be my conclusion. I actually think it's pretty much safe. I'm not going to say it's 100% safe because obviously there is still some suspicious indicators, but I would trust it a lot more than Fit Girl Repacks and, um, and Steam Rip. So I would say, yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't think that there's anything here that will actually harm you uh, negatively. Uh, so yeah. Um, once again, even, I think the sketchiest thing here is the spyware, but even then, um, it's an API used to take screenshots, so most likely it's to do with some sort of game overlay and how you have to take, how you can take screenshots, um, within Steam, so that's what it is, but yeah, I should think that Anchor Games is pretty safe, um, so yeah, this is the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one, so goodbye.